All right, guys, you join me at 12th Street Airsoft Field where I'm using the Norwich SSG 96 with the Tridos Air Brake Kit, as well as my Kiki Mustang Concealment System with Norwich leaves and my trusty sidearm, my MK23, and as well the ever growing popular Ninja Tabby Boots that will allow me to be lightweight and quick on my feet as I move through the forest floor. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video to see something that I've never witnessed before in 13 years of playing here. As the game begins, I rush to the middle of the field, put myself smack dab in the middle of all three flags, and try to support my teammates with sniper fire. I'm being shot at, but I don't know where from, so I spent some time trying to find the shooter through the trees. First shot, this player is saved by some branches. I make a stupid mistake and move around too much, and I'm quickly taken out. Hit! After respawn, I think I've found the perfect spot and it's quickly ruined. Oh, let's get out of here. After being able to avoid stings from yellow jackets, I'm able to relocate and find enemy players quickly. He didn't call it. Let's change his mind. Called it the first time, dude. After engaging that enemy player, I see another enemy to my left, and I'm able to thread the needle, taking him out with one shot. After taking out that enemy player, we lose the game two flags to one, and what happens next, I have no words. What happened just before we were about to switch sides, we found out a player was using a five jewel gun on a field the size of a football field. He was also engaging players well within 60 to 50 feet, causing several injuries to multiple players, as well as hurting a player severely 
the BB was actually able to punch through one of his mechanics gloves and go into his knuckle, causing severe swelling and bleeding, and leaving his finger uneligible to be used. If you are using this hot of gun, not only should you be held to a higher standard, but you should also be required to carry a sidearm, which this player was not required to have. In all my years of playing Airsoft, this is the first time I've ever seen a 5 joule gun allowed on the field, as well as the player not having to have a secondary. If you use a rifle like this, guys, make sure you're in that 200 plus feet engagement, and make sure that you know the power of your rifle to keep people from being injured. My entire team walked off the field and did not continue to play and everyone seemed to pack up and go home after finding out what happened. If you guys like this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. This is K-Factor, we'll see you guys next time.